Hello, welcome to the Horizon tutorial number three. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to fit data to exponential decay. I already have the Origin software open and I have my data imported. So right here we have the data of uh, time and the amount of a particular material. So the time will be my x-axis and the amount will be my y-axis. So let's go ahead and make a plot of this. So we'll go up here and uh, go to plot and then to symbol and then to scatter. We'll make a scatter plot. And uh, now we have our plot and we can see that it looks like an exponential decay. So how do we fit this to exponential decay to help obtain uh, parameters like the half-life and some other things like that? So what we just do is to go to tools, uh, to go to analysis rather, and go to fitting. And on the fitting, you will have uh, different options that pops up. So we will go to linear fit, and then uh, we'll go to open dialog. We don't want to use the last use because you don't know specifically what method that I used in my last fit. So let's just go to the open dialog to be able to interact with the software and be able to choose the right parameters for our fit. So you check the open dialog and this uh, window comes up. So we want uh, uh, the function for our fit, uh, it's of course we can see the function is selected, and then uh, we already have an exponential. But we can uh, for the category, but then we can select a function. So we want to select uh, exponential decay or deck one, decay one and deck one is still the same thing. Also, you have deck two, deck three. So deck three, deck two means uh, you have like. Uh, two faces for deck two deck three means you have like three uh faces faces like a triphasic decay model and um, uh, deck two means uh biphasic decay model and deck one means you just have one um decay process going on and i will first try with this and if it fits well then i don't need to try with decay two or decay three so the, uh, the the easiest one is just to choose the decay one, and then uh, you can also choose the algorithm that you want to use for your fit. But I usually just uh, go with the default, which is the Levenberg Macquart uh, iteration algorithm. So just click uh, fit, and here we have our data is uh, perfectly. Uh, fitted to an exponential decay. This is a window that usually pops up uh, whenever you perform a fit, and most of the time for the first time, that, that is when this happened. Uh, but um, you can choose not to be bothered by this again. What it's just asking you is that do you want to switch to the report sheet of your fit where you can see the fit parameters after your fit. So uh, I will click uh, yes so that I can see uh, how uh, it does that. So it basically opens this hub and then you can see the, the decay constant which is K 0 0.693 and then the half-life which is uh, 0 0.999 uh, which is approximately one, so one minute. So go back to the graph and uh, we have our curve uh, fit to the exponential decay function. So this is how to fit your graph to exponential decay. And uh, if you are interested in extracting uh, parameters, maybe like uh, in this case, you might want the half-life and not maybe the rate constant as well. So you can uh, go to this uh, book and go to the fit uh, parameter, which is in this case fit experiment one. So your rate constant is going to be 0 
copy that and you can put it on the graph and say uh, put a text say k is equals to this okay and then your half life is uh, tau represented by tau and in this case is 0 0.99998 which is approximately equals to 1 so you can say uh, let's put tf is equals to this and uh, this should be subscript is equals to 0 0.99987 so um yeah this makes sense because when you look at the the data itself you can see the progression that uh, every one minute the amount of the material will be halved so it started with uh, 16 at zero time and after one minute it went to eight after another one minute it went to four and that is why you can see that the half life is very close to one in this case. All right, so uh, this is how to fit your data to exponential decay and how to ex extract the uh, fit uh, parameters. Uh, um, other things that you might need to do is just to format this uh, graph before you then import the, you export it out of the origin program for your presentation or for your manuscript as the case may be and uh, I already made a video about that in my uh, first uh, origin tutorial the origin tutorial number one so you can go back to that tutorial to see how to get a beautiful uh, uh, picture or a beautiful graph after uh, this uh, kind of uh, fit so uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and also uh, hit the like button and uh, please also leave a comment if you have a challenge on how to uh, use this program or if this uh, tutorial has helped you, you should also let me know in the comment section and uh, that will uh, encourage me to make uh, more useful videos. Have a great day.